Hello friends! Today I'm going to be demonstrating how I make continuing patterns using Procreate. I've already made a video showing how I make patterns a few months back, but now with the new updates from the Procreate, the process of making patterns got so much easier and simpler. First, I'm making a new canvas with the same lengths and widths. I usually just set mine to 1000 by 1000 pixels, but you can make it any bigger or smaller. In the new canvas, I'm filling in the background with a color, and in a new layer, I'm going to be drawing an element. When I draw patterns nowadays, I like using monoline brush because the lines come out so clean and the strokes will be the same size no matter how much pressure you apply. This time, I'm simply drawing a flower. For the details of the flower, I'm using a new layer because it's going to be in a different color. I separate all the different colors in different layers so that I can change the individual colors later on if I wanted to, to make various swatches. Then I'm grouping together and duplicating the group so that I can add more identical flowers as a pattern. After, I'm just merging all the layers that are the same colors. I wanted to add a little more detail to this pattern, so I just drew in a squiggly line in there too. <laughs> then I'm making a group with all the different layers, including the background. I'm going to duplicate this group. Now, with one group already selected, first I'm enabling the magnetic and the snapping tool. This is actually one of the updates from Procreate 5X and this feature is what makes the process of making patterns so 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 much easier. Now we just need to drag the patterns to one direction, up, down, left or right, until the border just snaps to the middle. For the duplicated group, I'm doing the same thing until the layer meets in the middle, which you will just feel it when you are moving them thanks to the snapping and the magnetic tool. And you'll also be able to see it with the yellow guidelines that appear when it's exactly at the midway. Then, like earlier, I'm merging all the layers that are in the same colors and I'll also delete the empty group because we don't need it anymore. Now, I'm just adjusting the positioning of the flowers. Remember that you should only adjust the ones that are not touching the borders. And I'm adding more details, copying and adding the flowers to the empty spot. Now, I'm going to repeat the same step from before and duplicate the group to move to the left and to the right. I didn't like how the flowers were positioned, so I just moved it around a little bit. I was pretty satisfied here, but I thought it would be nice to add just one more squiggly line at the top. So I just repeated the same step from before, but you can just stop here at this point if you are happy with the result already. This time I just added the drawing guides, just so that it's easier to see when the layer borders are positioned in the middle. I added one more white squiggly line in the middle, and voila, it's done! Now you can export as a picture and use it as a pattern. But for myself, <laughs> I often like to see and edit the patterns when they are extended, because it gives me a better picture of how the pattern looks like as a whole. So I'm duplicating this pattern, and in the duplicated pattern canvas, I resize canvas to 2000 by 2000 pixels. Now the pattern canvas is four times bigger and therefore there are a place for four of the same patterns. Here I also enabled the drawing guide and now the steps are really simple. You just need to duplicate the group patch it next to each other, merge the same color layers, 
and you repeat this until the whole canvas is filled. At the end, you'll just have one group with the layers. In my group, I have four layers including the background, and usually the number of layers would equal to the number of colors you use. Now we have this beautiful repeating pattern and you can have a good overview of how it looks like when it's patched next to each other. At this stage, I like to just duplicate the group just so that I can try different swatches. For doing that, I'll alpha lock the layers and paint over with different colors. Afterwards, you can easily compare different swatches you've just created. And here are some other patterns I made using the same techniques. As you can see, you can add as many or less details and colors as you like. I hope this video was helpful and I wish you a wonderful morning, afternoon or evening wherever in the world you are. <laughs> Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye!